Good morning. The October 21, 2020 meeting of the Board of Estimates is now called to order. In the interest of promoting and maintaining health and safety, uh, as we continue to deal with COVID-19, the Board of Estimates continues to meet and be streamed live virtually. Uh, Madam Comptroller, are there any corrections, additions, or deferrals on the agenda? You're on mute, Madam Comptroller. Please note that there are no corrections or changes. Please note that no press, no protests were received for today's meeting. Please note that pages 59 and 60, item six, is being deferred from today, October 21st, until October 28th, 2020, next week. Please note that page 10, the Department of Audits, Department of Planning, Biennial Financial Audit, for fiscal years ending June 30th, 2019 and 2018 is on the non-routine agenda. Please note the following abstentions. The Honorable Mayor Young will be abstaining on pages 36 and 37 and page 61. Please note that the Honorable President Brandon Scott will be abstaining on page 61. Please note that the Honorable Comptroller Joan Pratt will be abstaining on pages one and two Item two, LE Blue and Associates Inc. only, pages 32 and page 33. Please note that the acting city solicitor, Mrs. Moore, will be abstaining on page 13, item six, and page 61. Please note that, that acting DPW, Mr. Matthew Garbach, there are no abstentions. That's it, Mr. President. Thank you, Madam Comptroller. Uh, I would direct the board members' attention to the memorandum from my office dated October 19, 2020, identifying matters to be considered as routine agenda items together with any corrections and additions that have been noted by the comptroller. I will entertain a motion to approve all the items contained on the routine agenda. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. President. I move approval of all of the matters on the routine agenda. I second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. The motion carries. The routine agenda items have been adopted. Uh, the first item on the non routine agenda can be found on page 10, Department of Audit, Audit Report. We will hear from the city auditor. The auditor, the floor is yours. Good morning, Mr. President, Mr. Mayor, Madam Comptroller, and the members of the Board of Estimates. My name is Josh Pash, and I am here to present the biennial financial audit on the Department of Planning for fiscal years ended June 30th, 2019 and 2018. We have audited the accompanying cash basis financial statements of the governmental activities of the Department of Planning. In our opinion, the financial statements present fairly in all material, res material respects the revenues collected and the expenses paid for governmental activities of this agency. In planning and performing our audit of the financial statements, we consider the department's the Department of Planning's internal control over financial reporting, but not for the purpose of expressing an opinion on the effect of the agency's internal control. We have three findings to report. There were no prior findings to follow up on. Before I move into the findings, I want to highlight financial statement footnote, financial statement note five and six. In previous audits, we had noted that the grant opening balances were not correct in across the city. The DOP is describing the corrective action taken to adjust and correct those balances in footnote five and six. We have three findings. The first finding is a control deficiency supporting documentation or missing for the selected payroll activities. The agency was not able to provide documentation for selected fiscal year 2019 and 2018 payroll activities for testing. We noted the areas of these deficiencies were there were not there were missing sign in and sign outs on the daily sign in sheet for 2019 8% of our sample had that exception and and for 2018 69% of the sample had that exception we noted there were missing timesheets there was 8% in 2019, and we did not have that exception in 2018. We noted that there were missing lease slip requests. We noted 21% of our sample 
had that exception in 2019 and 15% in 2018. And then we noted compensatory time earned without prior approval. We had 100% of our sample had exceptions in prior approval for comp time in both 2019 and 2018. For finding two, we had a control deficiency. Internal controls over the review and approval of grant expenditures require strengthening. During our testing, we noted that 18,000 expenditures associated with an $800,000 grant funding for the Baltimore Community Foundation to administer the Baltimore Energy Challenge Program did not have supporting evidence to support the $18,000. When we looked into this with the department, the cause of this issue was due to the individual who was managing that grant transferred to the Department of Housing and Community Development and continued to oversee the program from that. We also, the DOP was under the expectation that Department of Housing and Community Development would continue to maintain the documentation. However, it was a responsibility of the department planning to do that and we were unable to find those documentation for the expenditures. Finding three, a control deficiency. Inventory controls over parking coupons issued to members of the various commissions and review panels are lacking. We noted that documentation was not available to support the inventory allocation and distribution of 337 daily parking coupons totaling $6,734 and 521 daily park coupons totaling $10,424, which were purchased in 2018 and 2019, respectively. Daily parking coupons are purchased and distributed to commission and panel members who attain scheduled meetings. As a result, we were not able to determine if the parking coupons were properly allocated and if they were properly distributed and they are properly secured. That is the last of my findings, and I'll entertain any questions. Uh, thank you. Seeing no questions right now, we will turn it over to uh, Director Raya to speak on behalf of the planning department. President, I don't, I don't have a lot to say. We accept all the findings, um, maybe with a little bit of explanation particularly around the um, first recommendation around comp time. Our, our challenge in the department is that employees work too much, not enough. And it does seem um, not productive to ask them to get comp time in advance when they may be going to a community meeting where their services are needed and they spend more time there than they thought uh, they were going to spend. So um, we do we do accept the um, the findings, um, albeit with with some uh, minor explanations like that. Thank you. Uh, any questions from any of the board members? All right. Uh, the audit report is noted. Uh, any comment from any of the board members, Madam Comptroller? Mr. May. No, I have no comments. Thank you. All right. As there's no more business before the board, we will recess until bid opening at 12 noon. We will reconvene October 28th, 2020. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon. The Board of Estimates is now in session for the receiving and opening of bids. As part of the overall effort to limit transmission of the COVID-19 virus, the Board of Estimates is conducting bid openings virtually. Members of the public can call in to listen to bid openings live by calling 443-984-1696 and entering access, access code 0817325. Board of Estimates meetings are broadcast live on Charm TV, Channel 25, on Comcast Cable in Baltimore City. Meetings are also streamed on the internet at www.charmtvbaltimore.com forward slash watch dash live. The Board of Estimates will continue to conduct bid openings virtually while the state of emergency declared by the Mayor of Baltimore and the Governor of Maryland remains in effect. I have one addendum to note, Bureau of Procurement B5000-5740, Baltimore City Building Demolition, 
please change the bid due date from October 21st, 2020 to November the 4th, 2020. Thank you. The first item is Department of Transportation TR16305, precast deck panel repairs of bridge number BC 5210 on Hanover Street over the middle branch of the Patapsco River with a bid bond. The bidder is Concrete General with a bid bond. With a bid bond. Total dollar amount six million four hundred ninety three thousand eight hundred dollars eight hundred ninety dollars six million four hundred ninety three thousand eight hundred ninety dollars The next bidder is Kiwit Infrastructure Company. Uh, with a bid bond. With a bid bond. Total dollar amount three million three hundred four thousand seven hundred dollars. Three million three hundred four thousand seven hundred dollars. Next bidder is Marine Technologies Inc. Uh, with, a bid bond. with a bid bond. Total dollar amount two million six hundred forty eight thousand nine hundred dollars. Two million six hundred forty eight thousand nine hundred dollars. The next bidder is Eastern Highway Specialist Inc. With a bid bond. With a bid bond. Total dollar amount two million six hundred twenty thousand seven hundred twenty dollars. Two million six hundred twenty thousand seven hundred twenty dollars. <coughs> the last bidder is Allied Contractors Inc. With a bid bond, total dollar amount two million nine hundred fifty one thousand eight hundred dollars. Two million nine hundred fifty one thousand eight hundred dollars. These will be referred to the Department of Transportation for their review. The next bid is from the Bureau of Procurement B five zero 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 five nine two seven scrap metal disposable contract. There were no bids received. The next bid is from the Bureau of Procurement, B5000-6121, bituminous paving material hot and cold patch. The bidder is P. Flanagan and Sons Incorporated. These are, look like they're itemized bids. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So we don't read prices. Okay, just read the, uh, the name of the contract. Right. Okay. These are itemized bids. The contractor again is Pete Flanagan and Sons Incorporated. The next bidder is M. Louise Products, LLC. Prices will not be read. It is a itemized bid. Okay, these will go over to Bureau of Procurement.
there being no more business before this board, it is now adjourned. All right, thank you, everyone.